Hi, it's Jenny. I have a cute koala card to share with you. I will link to all the products at the Sunshine and Bees design shop in the description area below. The new stamp sets will be released on the 25th of February 2020, but all the stamps are available as pre-order right now. Each day this week, there will be a video showing the new release. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any. I'm stamping two of the koalas onto Bristol card so I can use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers to color them in. The colors I used will be listed below. I added the darker color where the shadows would naturally be, the sides of the bodies under their heads and under their arms. And I used the lighter marker to blend the color out. For the heads, I used the darker color at the edges of the heads and where the ears join the head. For both their tummies, I just used the lighter color and I used a light pink for the noses. The branch has a darker color where the koala is above it, near the ears and both sides of the arms and legs. This stamp set is called Quality Time and we are donating 50% to an Australian charity. I did make another background for this card with a Catherine Poulos stencil and Distress Oxides, but I thought it looked too dark. I considered trimming it into a square, but it didn't look right. So I'll keep this background for another card. I decided to use the Perfect Vine stencil with Crushed Olive Distress Oxide and a small blending brush by Picket Fence Studios. I've taped my stencil to the card and using small circular movements to add the ink to the card with a small blending brush. Holding down the stencil so I don't knock any of the leaves or vines and just slowly work my way down the card. Holding the stencil to make sure I don't get any ink underneath the stencil. I do want to add another colour in some parts and decided to use the largest brush in the Picket Fence 10 brush set. I smoothed out the crushed olive ink first, then added forest moss in some areas, lightly going over the stencil so I don't knock any of the leaves up. There is one area where the stenciling isn't clear, but I can cover this. I die cut a circle from white card for the koalas to sit on, but I wanted this to match the background. I lay the card on my background where I want it to be and line the stencil up. I use some tape to hold the circle to the stencil and put my background to the side and just use the ink that was already on the brush and stencil to colour this piece. I'll adhere this to the background with foam tape. I stamped and embossed a sentiment with raven embossing powder onto a white banner strip then adhered the standing koala to the strip. I trimmed the banner smaller and add some foam tape where it goes over the circle. The koalas are both adhered with tape adhesive. Thank you for watching this video. The link to purchase this stamp set is in the description area below and 50% from the sales of this Koala Tea Time set will be donated to Wires. The link to the charity will be below also. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to this channel to see more videos. Here are some more videos. I'll see you soon. Bye!